the final component of a safety management system is measurement and improvement. You can measure the results of your safety program in many ways. You can easily track the reduction of accidents and incidents, which will eventually reduce insurance claims and potential lawsuits. Actual results can be measured against your pre-established goals and help you make improvements and changes to your safety programs. It looks like our insurance premiums actually went down. What's up with that? Since we implemented our safety management system a few years ago, we've been able to minimize accidents and reduce claims. The reduction in our premiums is directly tied to the success of our safety efforts. I never realized that a safety program could have such a positive impact on our finances. Yeah, I know. Other improvements can be measured in the attitude of your employees through participating in drills, attending safety meetings, and demonstrating safe work habits. Participation of upper management in safety activities can also be measured. Once you've compiled measurable results, you can correlate the investment in your safety program directly to increased efficiency, reduction in claims, and other direct cost savings. This gives you a valuable tool to analyze your return on investment and how it affects future budgeting. After you establish your safety management system, you'll need to continually update and adjust details of the program. Over time, personnel will change, different hazards will arise, and new laws and safety regulations will be enacted. All these elements must be analyzed and adjustments made to your safety management system. Even with these periodic adjustments, accidents may still occur. Thorough accident investigations are necessary to determine the root causes of each incident. Only after a detailed investigation of the accident can you determine changes to policies and procedures, disciplinary actions, or other hazard control measures. 